Hello students, I am going to demonstrate how to do a um, profile, a, a topographic profile, that's the word. Do a topographic profile um, in a very simple way. So what you need is your lab, and then you need a scrap piece of paper. It doesn't matter what it is, as long as there's, you know, just have a back of a list here. And you're just gonna lay it down right at the edge right below your line and you'll mark A over here in this case, but for the other one you do B and then over here is a prime and it would be B prime obviously on the other one. Now in addition to marking the start and end of the line, I always mark like major features. So if there was a stream, I'm just gonna call this ML for Mauna Loa and this, okay, does, these lines don't have to be straight. All it is is that if you have to pick your paper up for any reason to a, read a line or, I don't know, you, you lose, you, you get bumped or you get called away, whatever the reason might be, you then can easily reline the paper up to your profile. Now, all you're gonna do on this piece of paper is put little marks everywhere that a contour line crosses your paper, every single one, all the way across. What part, what, how straight it is doesn't matter. What matters is where it is on the edge of the paper. You don't care about anything else. So I'm gonna go right up here to, for here to start. Now, the next thing you do is you'll have to put the elevation. Now, A is zero, as is A prime, because this is an island, and this line marks the shoreline, so sea level zero, so those will be both zero. And if we look at the contours, here's a thousand, one, two, three, five thousand. So if we go from here, this one, every fifth line, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, oops, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, then we get them all. So a thousand, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, then it would be 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000 is marked, 11, 12, 13. So our contour interval in this one um, is 1,000 feet. That's our contour interval. I'm just gonna abbreviate it CI is our contour interval. So that means any time that you go from one contour to the next, you're going up a thousand feet. So putting back my little, not move my paper too much, realigning it here, making sure my lines are in the right spot. Then I can say this one is 1000. Now I can mark each one, but I don't have to because that starts to get really messy. 1000, two, three, four, 5,000, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10,000, and then double check. I'm gonna make this line a little longer so I don't get mixed up. 10, 11, 12, 13 is this last one because Mauna Loa, if you look at the, look up the peak, the elevation of that, it is um, less than 14,000 feet. It's 13,000 and change. Now, you would do that all the way across, but for time, I'm just gonna go to the next step, which is to lay my paper down here at the end, uh, starting here. And then I just, where my mark is, now this one will be zero, the first point is zero, because that's where A prime is at zero. And, or A, sorry, A is at zero here on this side. Then I'd go for my first contour line is a thousand, each one of these little lines is a thousand, so that's zero, one thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, and so on. So I'd go put a dot right above that line on my graph. This is two thousand, I go up to two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, now if, you get tr if it gets a little hard to follow, you can, 
get a ruler, I think my paper didn't move, and follow it up. So it's 5,000, one, two, three, four, 5,000 there, one, two, three, four, five, 6,000, and then seven, eight, whoops, too high, eight, gotta watch that. It's like I, I might have skipped one. This is where being careful and checking is important because it's very easy to skip a line. See, I skipped it right there. I was not careful enough. By doing work in pencil is very helpful. You can always go over it in ink later, but pencil to start is best. Maybe I better do it this way. Then I won't lose my point place. There's 5,000. Six. Now I could just keep going up like this. Seven, it doesn't have to be perfect. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Remember, closed contours, everywhere along that contour line is exactly the same elevation. One of the points of, additionally, of marking where the peak is, is I know that from this point, any contour, especially the closed ones, are gonna be going down from that point. So if I added one more line here, just to get the peak, get across the peak, There's my other 13,000. And so I would come down here. Make sure it's all lined up. Sometimes it's easy to tape it down. That's easier. I've done that, just lightly tape it to keep it from moving about. So I know here's the peak. I cannot touch that 14,000 line, but here's 13,000. So when I connect my dots, going from zero, drawing my profile, try to go through each dot as best you can. And then when I do this, I'm just gonna make a little curve, but not touch that 14,000 point line. And then finish this off, finish it all the way down to zero, and you're done. And then down at the bottom here, you'd write distance along profile in miles. You do not have to put any of the miles. The scale is all is, is appropriate for this. And so there's no need to add any numbers along there.